Hello everyone, in the world where communication, information and opportunities are just click away, one thing has become crystal clear. Access to the internet is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. And today I am going to show you how to get internet access for your clients on freshly built network. Let's get started. On next generation firewall like FortiGate, there are three pillars to consider when you want full connectivity for your client part of your network. Despite that these concepts are much deeper, they can be characterized with a simple question. Can I get there? Am I allowed to get there? Am I going to be recognized when I get there? So let's take a look together how to get it done. If you have just finished part 3, do not worry, nothing has changed since then. I've only added some colors to zones and made it more distinguishable, so it is obvious what has been done. Those are my virtual machines, which are ready to fill up multiple roles – client, server, attacker or tool to configure devices remotely. Linux machine is currently part of VLAN 10 and can access both FortiGates via out-of-band network. So now I'm going to use it as PC, where we will configure FortiGate. Let's jump straight into it. Open the browser and type in https double dot slash slash 172.16.10.1 As a first step I am going to pick a roles for interfaces. Interface VLAN 10 should be already marked, I'm just going to double check it. So now let's open CLI and we are going to take a look on the routing. With command get router info routing table all you will print routing information. As you can see our firewall is already aware about default route which has been dynamically learned via routing protocol. In previous video we have told router1 to advertise default route in this direction. But now let's imagine you do not have dynamic routing protocol running and this entire section do not exist. You still going to need default route to tell FortiGate how to reach outside. So let me show you how it's done. In translation for commands applied, all zeros means for everything you don't know about use gateway 10.100.10.4 or simpler internet is behind this gateway. As we are still pretending router 2 would be our ISP and through his IP address we would reach outside. For verification let's check routing table again. Static route take precedence over dynamically learned route simply because it has lower administrative distance. Returning back to our reality you can leave static route which we have just applied and it is not going to make any difference for functionality. I just wanted to show you how to connect FortiGate with outside world. My preference is to make OSPF to do its job and I am going to later disable it. With command get router info routing table database you will see that dynamically learned route is still there, it is just not used. With basic routing configuration let me prove the point and let's test if this Linux machine can reach out internet. No, still not, because we are missing policy which would allow it along with network address translation. And this is what we are going to do in next step. I am also going to demonstrate it in browser, which would include another element, DNS. But since FortiGate have pre-configured DNS servers, we don't need to touch that for now. To configure what we are missing, let's jump to policy and objects. Click on firewall policy and then create new. Name will be classic and obvious, internet. For access from inside it is going to be our interface VLAN 10 and outgoing interface is going to be our one port, port 1. 
For demonstration purposes, I'm not going to make any restrictions on source and destination and I'm going to allow all services. And for the last part, if NAT is not enabled, don't forget to click on it. In terminal, I have left continuous ping running, so we can quickly check it out. And as you can see, we are getting ICMP replies, which means our clients is successfully able to reach internet. And because our users usually see internet on the browser icon, let's open it as well. And sure enough, our page from Google search is successfully loaded. Welcome to the internet. Have a look around. Anything that brain of yours can think of can be found. Okay, before we wrap this up, I wanted to show you one little bonus trick. How to make quick and simple address reservation for any host. With ifconfig, I am going to verify IP address assigned and as expected we are getting IP from pre-configured range. Now I will pick MAC address of this interface and let's quickly jump to FortiGate GUI. Click on Dashboard, then Network. Then expand the HCP widget. Clients with least IP addresses will appear here. We currently have only one, so we don't have to search for it. With right click, open the menu and then create the HCP reservation. Pick IP address of your liking and click OK. Just like that you have created reservation for the client or server and that will be all. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.